Okay, so we have to find I O in this uh, circuit. So let's do uh, let's work with the meshes we were given. So let's start by doing I one. So it'll be it starts from minus twenty volts plus four I one minus I three plus two I one minus I two. And then simplifying it, we have minus 20 plus 6i1 minus 4i3 minus 2i2. And let's rearrange everything let's, and bring the 20 to the other side. So 6i1 minus 2i2 minus 4i3 equals 20. Okay, so first equation is done. So now let's work with i2. i2, we see it's 2. I2 minus I1 plus 8 I2 minus I3 plus 10 I, 10 IO. No, sorry, minus 10 IO. Because it's entering from the negative side of this dependent voltage source. And so now let's simplify all of this. So 2 I2. Minus 2i1 plus 8i2 minus 8i3 minus 10io, like terms. And yeah, that looks good enough. And let's re, you know rearrange everything correctly. So two I one plus ten I two minus eight I three minus ten I O equals zero. Now let's focus on I three. Let's do it on this over here. So I three, we see I three is moving along the direction of I O. So th that pretty much we already know that I three is going to be equal to I O, and that means we can finish this so i o that's just i3 and minus 8 i3 minus 10 i3 that's minus 18 i3 okay so we now have that done so let's continue finishing uh the i3 mesh so 6 i3 plus 8 i3 minus i2 plus 4 I3 minus I1. So simplifying it, we have 6I3 plus 8I3 minus 8I2 plus 4I3 minus 4I1. And let's click like terms, this, this, and this. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 18 I3 minus 8I2. Minus 4 I1 equals 0, and obviously let's rearrange it correctly. So 4 I1 minus 8 I2 plus 18 I3 equals 0. So let's put everything down here. So let's do uh, 6 I2, sorry, 6 I1 minus 2 I2 minus 4 I3 equals 20. Uh, and then for I2, it's minus 2 I1 plus 10 I2 minus 18 I3 equals 0. Then for the next one, it's minus 4 I1 minus 8 I2 plus 18 I3 equals 0. And then if you put it to a uh, MATLAB or like, you know, solve it individually, you will notice you get I3 equals 5 amps, and they want to know what IO is. And since we know IO is equal to I3, IO will be equal to 5 amps.